Through all the years of Penzik War, we've heard many a queer thing. From painful plagues to human croquet to cattle that must have had wings. <laughs> but perhaps the strangest tale I know of doings at Penzik War is the story of the first and only Penzik Emperor. Sir Galen Lionelost Wesley, a knight, valiant and true, had not the faintest inkling of what fate would have him do. He took his place upon the field, armed with shield and sword, never knowing that by day's end he would be Penzik's lord. The cannon went off with a roar, and the melee began. Slashing sword and thrusting spear put pay to many a man. Within the shield walls swirling midst Sir Galen he did slay, until he found his path was blocked. Tiger King did bar the way. The two men both moved purposefully the other's life to seize. The eastern king he vainly strove to bring Galem to his knees. Now Galem did not know his foe <laughs> wore a crown upon his head. He only knew that some short man kept trying to take his leg. He grew a little tired of these luckless low leg blows and decided there and then of their author to dispose. Though short you are, you soon shall be a little shorter yet. <laughs> the monarch found he'd lost a foot as our knight lopped off his head. His foe attacked. Sir Galen looked for some new foe to attack, when suddenly an unseen hand had knocked upon his back. Now it should have been an Easterner <laughs> who wanted to chastise Sir Galen for the Eastern King's unceremonious demise. Way back then, engagement rules were not what they are of late. You began to turn a sword would fly and seal your fate. So grimly raising up his sword, he threw as he turned round to find no foe but Midrealm King. <laughs> his guard completely down. <laughs> the sword already on its way could not be called back home. So to the dragon's crown it flew, <laughs> dropping laurel and like a stone. <laughs> Sir Galen went upon his way, though. Sorry! For his king. <laughs> and at day's end, Duke Andrew said he'd done the damnedest thing. All hail, tiger and dragon's bane, both of whom you slew. There's no one left to run this war, and <laughs> so it falls to you. <laughs> Seek an emperor's throne or to rule a land so wide, and yet this day, though unaware, <laughs> you've done dual regicide. <laughs> Sir Caleb, he grew rather pale as if suffering an attack. I do not want this crown, he said, and quickly gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> to those who dream of empires vast, think of our gallant knight. Though he did win imperial throne, he quickly saw the light. For if you kill all kings you meet, you might run out of luck. You could be crowned imperial, and then with the job, be stuck. <laughs>